Okay, so for this activity, I'm going to show you how to add a book to a Moodle module. And books are actually uh, an add-on. They don't come with a standard installation of Moodle, um, but you can install yourself. You can download the book module. And um, I've already done that, so everyone in, in this class actually has access to the book add-on. So I'm si I've simply clicked on Add a Resource. Book is the first choice. I'm going to click on that. So the first thing I have to do is give my book a name. And uh, I usually stick with something really basic, uh, which is Start Here. And that's because I want the students to read this information in this book first before they do anything else for the week. Also, I might include some sort of a summary here. Not necessary, but I like to do it. Chapter numbering. I never put chapter numbering because I feel that it clutters up the page. I want visible groups so everyone can access this information. Now I'm going to save and display. So each page in the book is actually called a chapter. So for example, for chapter title for page one, I might put introduction to materials. And then I'm going to put something here like um, this week we will be looking at and uh, maybe I might want to bullet this information. For example. Alright, so now I'm going to click Save Changes. So this is what the book actually looks like. Um, over on the left is the table of contents and on the right is the actual content. So there's uh, different ways you can interact with the content. For example, you can edit the content at any time. You can go back in and make changes. You can delete this particular chapter. You can hide it so the student doesn't see it. And this plus sign is to add a new chapter. So let's add a new chapter. This function says page 2 of our book. One of the interesting or fabulous things about books is you can include all sorts of multimedia in a book. And one of the ways that you can do that is you can actually toggle here using this toggle button back and forth into HTML. And I'm going to be showing you later on how to actually get code from the internet and just pop it right in. So let's save this. Alright, so now you can see on the left here I've got two pages two, or two chapters in my book. Let's just turn editing off so you can see what it looks like to the student. And I can easily go back and forth. Um, I also have some arrows over on the right hand side where I can that I can use for navigation.